Hello everyone and welcome back to Navis Nobilite. I am Captain Zelnick and today we are continuing our Tyranid ship overview with the Kraken. Now, the Kraken is really where the pain of the Tyranid list comes from. It is a particularly difficult to kill, enormously heavily armed little escort that you can have in humongous numbers and they are incredibly difficult to kill. So let's have a look at the Kraken. First, what do you get for 25 points? base remember you will have to pay for your up for your weapons it's a one-hit escort with 25 centimeter speed and 90 degree turn that's a really good setup it has armor six but it has no shields and no spores it can have one weapon power acid battery at strength six that is a really high weapons battery count at 30 centimeters it can take feeder tentacles it can take massive claws it can take a bioplasma discharge of strength two or it can take boarding torpedoes Krakens have no spore cysts, but are amazingly durable and capable of regenerating damage. As such, Krakens count as always being on brace for impact special orders when they take damage, receiving a 4-up save against each hit sustained, including those sustained, when rolling a 6 for moving through blast markers. This ability in no way affects the Kraken, and may, they may use other special orders as normal. Also, they don't half their firepower when they're... because just because, and they break the rules, and they enjoy it. As Tyranid Kraken do not have spores, they cannot have ability to be, uh, the ability to use spores, and thus cannot take additional spore assist refit. Your Power Acid batteries are 15 points, Feeder Tentacles are 5, Massive Claws are 10, Bioplasma Discharge is 10, and Boarding Torpedoes is 15. Now, I've again, I've seen a lot of different uh, setups for the Kraken. The most common one that I have seen are Massive Claws, simply because these things are so incredibly hard to kill that these things will reliably get up into the enemy formation and start just breaking apart enemy ships, especially if you're dealing with cruiser-level threats. Feeder tentacles are also common for pretty much the same reason, though they do a different job. I've also seen a couple of bioplasma discharges, and this pyroacid battery is a really strong weapon. This can do a lot of damage at strength 6. You do have to get close, but you're Tyranids, so that's your goal anyway. The only thing that I really don't see is boarding torpedoes. You generally can get that elsewhere for more efficient means of destroying your enemy. All right, that's all for the Kraken. Just remember, take a lot of these, you, because you can, and you should, because these are really where the durability of your fleet actually exists. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video.